get it. You want it, then come and get it. I want the clown next, the clown. What's your message to him? I know you are. Murtel is the next one. Happy New Year, everybody. 2021 is finally here, and what an event we have for you on January 30th, exclusively on pay-per-view. Quite simply, the biggest fight card in glory kickboxing history, and I'm not using hyperbole. Four world title fights, ladies and gentlemen. Eileen Pereira, the young, nasty sister of Alex Pereira, gets her first world title shot against the returning Tiffany Van Sue. And then in the welterweight division, it's Myrtle Grunhart versus Cedric Dumbay, as we've been talking about. It's a rivalry fight for the ages. And then in the light heavyweight division, 209 pounds, Alex Pereira moving up from middleweight, attempting to become the first glory fighter to ever simultaneously hold two world title belts. He'll be squaring off against Artem Vahitov, one of the nastiest pound for pound fighters glory has ever had. And then of course, the coup de grace, the world heavyweight title. Rico Verhoeven is back to face off against Jamal Ben Sadiq. This is their third meeting and it's one to one. This one should settle the score live exclusively on pay-per-view. Go to glorykickboxing.com for more. We'll talk about some of those fights, but right off the top, let's jump into that welterweight championship and who better to discuss it with than the former welterweight champion of the world, my broadcast colleague from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Bazooka Joe, Joseph Baltolini. How you doing, man? Well, I'm a little cold here in Canada and we're still in lockdown, but uh, staying positive, especially after that last card we had with Badr Hari and Benjamin Attic Boy going into 2021, I got a lot of excitement. All right, so Doom Bay versus Grunhardt. The rematch, finally, after being delayed because of COVID, because of injuries, they will finally get it on. It's one of the most intense rivalries Glory has ever seen. Dumbe just fought in December, a big win over Kareem Gaji. How did you think he looked? Well, I thought Dumbe did what Dumbe does best and is dominate the fight. He came in there and just showed that power, that athleticism that we've seen in his past few fights. And he looks great. He gets in your head before the fight. He performs well, and then he dominates. But the thing we saw was that first round, he even said it in his post-fight interview, he got a little excited chasing the knockout. And that could be a stake, uh, mistake fighting someone like Myrtle Grunhardt. So I'm sure he got those little nerves out of the way, and we're going to see an even better Doombay come fight night. We just saw Doombay a month ago. As for Grunhardt, I feel like we haven't seen him in 10 years. What kind of fighter do you expect to be walking down that aisle on January 30th? Well, I always say it, Grunhardt is a kickboxing OG. He's been around the game for so many years, so we kind of know what Myrtle Grunhardt is there. And he kind of gets excited for big fights. And a big fight like this, there's nothing bigger than this. The rivalry, the belt on the line. So Grunhardt's dialed in. He's had the time to kind of sit there, refocus, get his career on track. And I have a feeling we're going to see a really aggressive one because I think that Doom Bay, you know, antics on social media has gotten to him a little bit. Now, you didn't get a chance to fight either Dumbay or Grunhardt, but you did fight some common opponents that both of them have squared off against, most notably Nikki Holskin. Nikki Holtzkin sat at the top of that welterweight division for some time and when I fought him he was sitting at the peak of the throne there but after Glory 13 when we fought we kind of see a little slip in Nikki Holtzkin and that's when we saw the rise of Cedric Dumbay and that dominance since then. All right, well, coming up, we'll hear from both of those fighters in my exclusive sit-down interview. Plus, we'll look back at when they fought each other in their first two fights. But right now, let's show you how they did against some common opponents. Yoel Congolo! Touch gloves. Back to your corners. This is the feeling of the Glory Championship battle.
neck, baby. I think Murtaugh did a very good job. I think it was very close. And still!
fighting. You guys look scared? He has a big mouth. Yeah, you look scared. I need to shut him up. Cedric Dume! Really don't like it. Very dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up. I will beat you. Go and get it. It's 1-1. One, one. I want to fight. We go again. You know, I'm the king of the jungle. And if he wants it, try and come and get it, baby. I'm the Goliath, man. I know I can do this. All right, we're getting geared up for Glory 77, January 30th, live exclusively on pay-per-view. The welterweight championship of the world is on the line. Cedric Dumbay defending against Myrtle Grunhart. Now, these men have faced twice before. Joe, let's go back to Glory 28 in Paris. We knew a lot about Myrtle Grunhardt. He already had eight pro fights in Glory, but Dumbay was only making his second appearance in a Glory ring. What did you think was going to happen that night? Well, that night we really didn't know much about Doom Bay, so I thought Myrtle Grunhart was going to walk right over him, and I think that's what most people expected in that kind of fight, knowing the history of Myrtle Grunhart, how dominant he is in the past, how much experience he has. You know, Doom Bay came in with a lot of experience on record, but we haven't seen him, so we really kind of wrote him off thinking that this is Grunhart's chance to get back, but boy, did Cedric Doom Bay have something different in store for us. All right, let's take you back to Paris. Glory 28, the first battle between Myrtle Grunhardt and Cedric Dumbe. Fight! Schedule for three, three-minute rounds here in the welterweight division. Grunhardt in the white gloves and Dumbe in the black gloves. No feeling out process here, Joseph. They're coming out firing. Myrtle feels Cedric's Stop. Stop. really wild, so he said he was going to use his distance and his Fight. angles and make sure he can use his counters. Myrtle's coming out in a southpaw position. Interesting to see what he's going to throw from that stance. You don't see that too much from Myrtle Grunhart. Pressure fighter always looking to finish. Known for his knees. And that high kick pushed back to Bay. Fight! Nasty front kick attempt there from Myrtle Grunhart. Dumbe looking to set up that right hand. Stop. Fight! Stop! Just whipped with it. Myrtle talked about using his distance Fight. and angles, but he looks like he's the one attacking more often and coming straight forward. You think that's a lot of emotion because Dumbe has gotten to Grunhart. There's no doubt about it. It could be. Dumbay's approach is an angry fighter will make mistakes. Good point. Dumbay pushes Grunhart back. Myrtle looks like he's relaxing now, but I'm interested to see why he's in his southpaw and what he's going to do from there. He's using that Sinitai approach, using that left kick to crack the shell of Dumbay. Going to work on the legs now. And comes up high. I like that Dumbay's fighting on the outside, using angles, using movement, hitting his combinations and getting out. Black. There's clinch and R separating. Myrtle needs to be more active. He's letting Dumbay throw a lot. He's not really countering much. He looks really flat right now. And Dumbay goes down to the canvas. Rules of slip. Fight! Under 30 to go in round number one. I was expecting a little bit more of a high pace fight. They came out firing and slowed down a little bit. Slowed down quite a bit. They're both looking flat on their feet. They're both respecting each other a little too much. Stop! Stop! Fight! Stop your corner! Round number two in the welterweight division. Grunhardt in the white club. And Dubé in the Stop. black. Hey! Oh. Myrtle's back to work hey, 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 the stance. Maybe hey. that was a... Oh. Oh. Stop! 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 There's the bad blood. Hey! Come on! This one. Fight! Oh, Time out call by Gabriel. Be quiet. Marufa. Okay, be quiet. Oh, you understand? Be quiet. Fight! Two minutes in the head of Myrtle. That's the bad blood we talked about. Fans behind Dubay. Big switch left knee, sitting up. Big punches.
punches. Fight! The 23-year-old Dumbe playing mind games Stop. with a 29-year-old Grunhardt. Fight! Fight. the stats from round number one. Kroenhardt threw a little bit more, but didn't land as much. It's a very even round when it comes to the throne versus landing. And of course, I gotta put you on the spot. Who'd you give that first round to? Oh, man, it was very close, but I think Dumbe was throwing a little bit more, so I might have to give that first round to, to Dumbe. Understood. Hurdle doesn't look himself. He's backing himself into corners when he talked about using distance and angles. Well, something might be wrong with him in there. Stop! See if the fighters Fight. break evenly that time. No issues. Myrtle's constantly touching his shorts. I don't know if it's on his hip or his waistband or his jock, but something's bothering them. Under a minute to go. Drew Bay goes for the leg of Grunhardt. He's got, someone needs to throw the jab, stay active in those zones. It's the most vocal we have heard this crowd here in Paris supporting Cedric Dumbe. Stop! Pinch. Fight. Fight! It's not much action here. There's a lot on the line for these guys. Someone needs to start throwing some combinations. Greenheart, of course, hoping to get another shot at champion Nikki Holskin. Stop. He lost the title Just fight to Holskin at 26. Fight. Said he felt robbed. Stop. Hey. Oh, you are no, no catch, okay? Warning, official warning, okay? Oh, you understand, official warning. Fight. Oh, corner. And just like that, round two comes to an end. Third and final round in the welterweight division. Ron Kruk and Joseph Baltolini here for Glory 28 ringside. Mertel Grunhardt and Cedric Gumbe trying to settle their differences. Did you give that second round to Gumbe? I have to. I'm going two rounds to zero for Gumbe. Means Grunhardt's got some work to do here in the third round. I think he knows he's down in the scorecard and has to put some Stop! combinations together. Stop! Stop! Oh. Again, the fans the booing corner. Grunhardt, thinking that was a late shot coming off the break. One point. One point. One point. Four on. Okay. And Grunhardt has been deducted a point. He's continually Fight. grabbing that kick. Referee warned him taking the point away, which is going to make it even more difficult for him. He needs a knockout. Grunhardt, 33 career knockout, so he can do it. But he Stop. needs the Hail Stop. Mary here in round number Fight. three. Grunhardt in a lot of trouble in seeing that rematch with Fight. champion Nikki Holskin slip away. What's his name? Uh, Myrtle needs to get active, throw those combinations. Just misses with the flying knee. Myrtle's known for his big knee knockouts, but so maybe that's the strike he wants to throw now to try to catch and surprise Cedric with something. Dumbe said Stop! he knows that he has Come those on. knees. Oh, he was Come on, gentlemen, it's boxing, the whole okay? Team. No pushing, no pushing. Fight! was ready if he came out and threw those knees. Under a minute to go, round three. Can Cedric Dumbe hold on? It just seems Grunhardt's a little slow. 
one oh, step oh, behind. Oh, it was very oh, fast to that. It wasn't the same hurdle okay. we saw against Nicky Holtzky. With Nicky, he was using his jab, fight. using his distance. He fought the perfect fight. Tonight, he's a little flat. Maybe something's bothering him. He keeps touching his hip. Who knows? Under 30 to go in round three. What a huge victory good, this good, would good. be for Cedric good. Dumbe, but don't premature celebrate yet. There's 15 seconds left. Stop. This could be interesting if these two punch up again. Stop! Finish! All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's take a look at the totals. They score this bout 29-27, 30-26, and 30-26. A unanimous decision for your winner, Cedric Dumbe. I want everybody to say that, damn, nobody can beat this guy. Nobody. I am the best. I don't think I'm the best. I am the best. I got the belt. I will face again Myrtel, the skinniest grown out. And I'm saying like this, I will knock him out for sure. I don't want to win on point. I will win anyway, but I just want him to get a big punishment. So that's why I, wa I really want to knock him out. As a fighter, I don't like him. He do bad things in the ring. An unknown guy. I fought the rank two in the glory division. That was Myrtle Bruno. Two minutes in the head of Myrtle. That's the bad blood we talked about. I came from full contact. I wasn't even a good, a great kickboxer, but I beat him. Dude, I beat him up. Touch him up. Back to your corner, guys. Judge. They do not Judge. touch gloves. In Chicago, they robbed me. Oh, we know. We know that Brunhart will hit you when your back's turn. And I still believe that I won the fight on point, but judges decided different. And new glory welterweight champion of the world! And he got his punishment because Arut, the karma, Arut knocked him the f out. The karma is not over. I will beat him up and knock him the f out. I will knock you out for sure. You will sleep right now. The guy looks scared? He has a big mouth. Yeah, you look scared. I need to shut him up. Cedric Dumbe! Really don't like it. Very dirty. I'm gonna beat you up. I will beat you, Nietzsche. Come and get it. It's 1-1. One, one. I want to fight Rico again. You know, I'm the king of the jungle. And if he wants it, try and come and get it, baby. I'm the Goliath, man. I know I can do this. All right, now let's turn to the rematch. Glory 44 in Chicago. Cedric Dumbe, after that loss to Myrtle Grunhardt, had won four in a row, including beating Nikki Holskin twice and becoming the welterweight champion of the world. As for Grunhardt, he had won four of his next five and wanted that title back around his waist. Joe, what do you remember about the buildup to that fight? 
Well, again, both of these guys have that rivalry, that tension between each other, and they both are characters outside of the ring who are very confident. So when you put those two types of characters together, you get a lot of excitement outside of the ring. So bringing it into the ring is just as fun because stylistically, they're a little bit unorthodox style fighters, good power shots when they good land. So in those types of fights, you always have to keep an eye on things because one split second could definitely change the fight. All right, so the stakes were even higher in the rematch. Cedric Dubé defending his welterweight championship against Myrtle Grunhardt. All right, gentlemen, world title on the line. Fight fair, fight clean, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Any questions? Touch them up. Back to your corners, guys. Judge. They do not Judge. touch gloves. Judge. Cedric Dubé calls himself the best. Can Myrtle Grunhardt prove him wrong? Fight! This for the welterweight championship of the world. Doombay in the white gloves, the challenger Grunhardt wearing black. Let's see how both of these guys approach this fight. They both predicted a knockout. Grunhardt says he'll do it within three rounds. But no one's even knocked Doombay down, much less knocked him out. How do you knock out Cedric Doombay, who's perhaps the best defensive fighter in all of glory? Well, that's the puzzle everyone's trying to find out. It's almost like, I'm sorry, what we might see tomorrow night in Las Vegas. McGregor versus Mayweather. There's a, maybe a knockdown. Let's see. Calling it a slip, perhaps. Slip. McGregor fighting the Fight. best defensive boxer, maybe, of all time. Pro promising a knockout. Grunhardt doing the same against Doombay. I think, I think uh, it's safe to say that Grunhardt has a better shot. Well, they are swinging for the hills early, though, aren't they, Joe? Yeah, they're both putting a lot of power behind everything. Stop! 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 Doombay's feints are doing a really good job at the outside. He fakes, and you don't know if it's a kick or a punch coming. Doombay only 24 years old. He told us, listen, I've already beaten Grunhardt once about a year ago, and I've grown so much. I've gotten better since then. Grunhardt has stayed the same. Do you agree with that analysis? Well, Grunhardt brings a good pressure style, and he's fought very similar. It's just seeing Doombay grow so much. Myrtle's style is very effective. It works well. This is why he's fighting for a world title. But it's that different style that Doombay brings that's giving guys a hard time. Bit of a chaotic first two minutes here in this fight. No one really landing any strong shots, but they both tried their best unloading on each other early. Slip. See, those, those knees can come out from anywhere. That's what makes Myrtle super Fight. dangerous. Men trying to settle into this fight right now, find a rhythm. Hard round to score so far. Couple nice leg kicks there from Dumbe, the champion. Nice slip from Dumbe. Stop! Stop! Both stop! Guys trying stop! To find their feet. Stop! Clean break. Turn around, fighter. Fight! He was landing well with them. I think he's just having to respect the power and the punches of Grunhardt. Watch the pushing. No flow to this contest at all. They just keep crashing each other's distance, so they make it really hard for them to get any good shots off. Makes it a really scrappy, messy fight. Dumbay is usually a rhythm fighter, finds his rhythm. Gets in, gets out. But we saw that, we saw that with Nicky because he's more of a stable fighter, one that stands there. Where Myrtle's moving. He'll move back. He moves forward. Then he, all of a sudden, he's jumping at you. So it's hard for Doombe to find his rhythm. So it's more of what Myrtle is doing as opposed to what Cedric is not doing. I believe so. That's my opinion. Mm. 
D there from Myrtle. His signature shot. Cedric Dubé, usually all smiles. He's a comedian, has done some stand-up, considers himself a jokester. But when he gets in the ring, usually he's all business. He's going back to those low kicks. Oh, we know, we know that Grunhardt will hit you when your back's turned. It is a defend yourself at all times sport. Watch the grabby, fighter. Watch the grabby. And the referee, Oscar Ready. Martinez, has his hands full, Joe. Fight! That was definitely Doom Bay's fault. In the middle of the exchange, he just turned his back. Well, Doom Bay needs to be careful. Literally, these rounds could be slipping away Ten. from it. I started to think it was the weight Whoa. cut. Come on up. Another shove the down there fighter. for Myrtle Grunhardt. Up, oh, come on. Fight! Many have described Dumbe as a Picasso in the ring, Joe, but tonight no, he's more like a, a car crash. He doesn't, have, he doesn't look himself. Definitely doesn't look himself, and I'm thinking it's the weight cut. He's not putting out Stop. that aggressive style, Break. that movement that we've seen with Nicky, but Break. I still think it's Grunhardt's style that's really throwing him off. A little pawing left hook from Grunhardt lands. And Myrtle just has such long reach, so as Dumbay thinks he's out of the punch range, Myrtle's still landing. Off balance goes Dumbay. Myrtle's trying for that right high knee. There's Dumbay sliding out. I wonder if that early dancing had an effect on both these Tired guys. Him out. Tired them out. There just doesn't seem to be a threat from Doom Bay. He's not really throwing anything that's throwing Myrtle off. He usually has nice uppercuts and he'll throw punches from odd angles. But there's nothing slowing Myrtle from coming forward. Well, how does this fight resemble the fight they had a few years ago? Well, when they fought it, Laura Twin is very similar. It's a very scrappy fight like this. Stop! Stop! So, I don't know, it's kind Team of being break. a similar fight. Break. One that's really hard to call. Well, I don't think either fighter can feel very comfortable heading into round five. Hey. And the judges will also certainly notice that it's Grunhardt who's been pressing the attack as well. Well, it's the fifth scoring criteria. If they're even on knockdowns, which they are, damage looks pretty similar. Clean scoring strikes look similar. Could those flying knees from spectacular techniques be the difference? Could it be the aggressiveness? Judges are earning their money. In the unlikely event that this is a draw after five rounds, they will go to an extra round. Not in a title fight, Todd. That goes, the draw goes to the champions. Stop. Well, then forget what I just said. Clean break. Come on, guys. Let's go. Fight! Both guys countering back and forth. Not much power left. A minute to go. Stop! You know Wait. who Gregorian is watching in the back, the man who won our welterweight contender tournament final? I would imagine he'd want to see Myrtle Grunhardt win so he can get a rematch. A couple of good low kicks there, though, from the champion, Cedric Dumbe. Dumbay's low kicks have been doing really well. Not doing much damage, but they're still landing. We could very well see the title change hands here tonight. Dumbay, who looked untouchable against Nikki Holskin, looks beatable tonight and may have been beaten. Ten seconds to go. Another close round. Stop! Clean break. Hey! Hey! And that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here now are their totals. 
Judge Gabriel Sabata scores at 48-47, Dumbe. Judge Brian Pacillo scores at 48-47, Grunhardt. And Judge Calvin Caldwell scores it 49-46 for your winner by split decision. And new glory welterweight champion of the world, Mertel Grunhardt! I visualize how we lose, I visualize how I knock him out. Go to bed, I visualize him knocking him out. I wake up, I visualize him knocking him out. Uh, what's more important for me is to get the belt because when I get the belt, I get two and one. I get Cedric and I get the belt. Myrtle is really motivated by belts. He calls himself the belt collector, so there's nothing bigger on the line than this one here. And now, interim welterweight champion of the world, Myrtle Grunhaar! I want to take it from Cedric because the history we got then from somebody else, so I definitely would go for the belt against Cedric. I think, he, I think he's been guided by the people, by the audience, I think he's been guided by the camera, because when those people are not around, and when the camera's not around, and when I'm there, it's a different guy, but as soon as the camera clicks, it's a different guy, so uh, I think he has two faces. On such short notice, but we know they're watching oh. with them. Oh, the right hand just dropped Jones. That is a knockdown, and it came out of nowhere. When Myrtle sees blood, he comes after you. Myrtle Grunhardt, the predator, explodes in the second round. I want the clown next, the clown. Beef is already there. I don't have to motivate myself to get the beef or to and hype myself up. The beef is real. The main thing I have to do now is just to stay calm and stay focused, you know? This two-time contender tournament champion has been in the glory spotlight since glory two in Brussels. He is one of the most explosive and exciting fighters in all of glory. He is Mertel, the Predator, Grunha. How I knock him out? I have two. I have one with punch. When Berto sees blood, he comes after you. It's a one with the high kick. It's about honor. It's about my legacy. This is the most important side of my life. You know, I will be deadly. I will be hungry. And I'm aiming for that belt. One of the most heated rivalries in glory history. <laughs> Well scared? He has a big mouth. Yeah, you look scared. Let's shut him up. Cedric Dumbe! Really don't like it. Very dirty. Martin Grunhardt! <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up. I will beat you. Come and get it. It's 1-1. One, one. I want to fight Rico again. You know, I'm the king of the jungle, and if he wants it, try and come and get it, baby. I'm the Goliath, man. I know I can do this. So Glory 77 coming your way January 30th, live and exclusively on pay-per-view. And the fight that a lot of people are really excited about is Doom Bay versus Grunhart Part 3. Now, this fight was booked to happen earlier in 2020, even before the pandemic. Obviously, the world changed. The fight was delayed multiple times. Finally, it is here. So let's take you back to that explosive sit-down interview. The last time Doom Bay and Grunhart came face-to-face. There have been some intense rivalries over the years, but none quite like the rivalry we have right here. The best, the welterweight champion of the world, Cedric Dumbe, and the number one contender and former champion, the predator, Myrtle Grunhart. The interim guy. Let's start with the champ. For some reason, you have, it seems, an obsession with this man on your Instagram, on social media. You're constantly making fun of him, constantly badgering him. Why do you do that? I want him to know that I don't like him. You know, I don't know the guy and I don't give a shit about the guy, but I know the fighter and I don't like the fighter. That's why I want to knock him out. And then he will understand who is the best. And he will say it after the fight, if he's still alive. It's another knockdown for Dube. We've got a new world champion. And Cedric Dube is once again officially...
actually the best! Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. I'm listening, my son. I heard more people, broken more jaws. Could you be more specific? Here's the problem. As you know, I'm the best kickboxer on the planet. You know it, right? Okay, I am the best kickboxer on the planet. And the thing is, they don't get it. They don't really get it. I see them coming every time. Each one as bad as the last one. Father, it's always the same. Left, right, KO. Left, right, KO. Take poor out. It's got him again. Arup does not look all there. Cut. Paul Nichols may jump in there in a second. Oh, he's turned his back. Look at his eyes. Father, between you and me, I think he met an angel. And look at Nabiel. <laughs> First he was dancing. And then... And then he was sleeping. Father, I can't stop. I can't stop winning. Have you ever considered stopping your training to give them a chance? Yes, I thought about it. I thought about it, but I can't. I have to kick their asses to earn some respect, you know what I mean? Like, Father is stronger than me. Yes, my son. But how are you going to deal with your next opponent? <laughs> the next one. His name is Myrtle Grunert. A tall, skinny ass black guy with legs longer than his body. <laughs> but um, he's a good guy. He's kind, smiley. He doesn't deserve what's gonna happen to him. That's why I wanna apologize in advance to his family, to his friends, because they will not recognize him after the fight. But father, I promise, I promise I will do my best to let him alive, I don't know, maybe two rounds. I swear to God, two rounds. I hope you'll reach the realm of peace in your heart. The best will win, my son. Father, I am the best. So may the best win. He told me that you, you say a lot of horrible things about him online, but when you see him face to face, you almost cower away and you're very friendly. He's a fucking coward, bro. He's a coward. I say young right now. <laughs> that's what he, that's what he, before you walked in here, that's what he said. Okay, so he can say anything, you know, everything he wants, he can say. But I'm the glad you pray is, for me. I really, I'm glad you pray for me because the more prayers I'm praying I got, for you. I'm the praying more prayers for your ass. The better I'm I get, the stronger I get. Let I'm, me tell you that. I'm, so keep I'm praying, praying for Myrtle. Everybody is watching this. I will knock this guy out and you will see. I don't know, you will see. First round or second round, I will knock him out. And what is funny is that I'm saying that and it's gonna happen. So he gives you guys, he gives everybody, everybody who's watching, he gives me two rounds, okay? Two rounds, this guy will give me in the glory ring. Nobody ever knocked me out in, I think it's only Harut, he knocked me out. <laughs> <in the game. laughs> <laughs> you see? Counts. He gave me eight <laughs> counts in the second round. Nobody on the first was. Round. Nobody was. This guy gave Nobody me. Nobody was. This guy gave me yeah. two rounds. Thank you. Remember what Shut he said. Your two, ass two, two rounds. Remember what he said. Two rounds. Two rounds. Two, two rounds is even is even a lot. All his team is saying to him, "Oh, you're gonna knock him out. You're gonna beat him. You better than him. You took the. Do look you beat him once. Do I look scared? Do I look scared? Of course you're scared. Look me in my eyes. Do it's I not because scared? you're looking at me. In the, in do I look the eyes that you don't scare. Do of I look course scared? you're scared. Yeah, you look scared. Yeah. Yeah. You really scared. Look scared? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna beat you up. Yeah. yeah. Put your glasses on again. Yeah, definitely, man. Because you don't want me to. Man. My glasses you don't want me to me. look him uh, into the your fuck eyes. Is this, you know, man. I, I, I know you're scared. Not at now all. Now you know. Not at all. You will bro. not fight the same Dumbe as you fight before. You last won't time. fight the same Myrtle because when you of fought Myrtle in the, in the. Let's listen. 
When you fought Myrtle, oh, when I took injured. your belt, you was injured the first time. Not only that, okay. I had touched my meniscus two weeks before the fight against oh. you, and I won with a with an injury in my meniscus. Oh, I, I thought, won that fight. I thought maybe your costume two weeks was too before, heavy. bro. Two weeks before, <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna do my thing now. I'm mm -hmm. fucking healthy. I'm everything is good. Everything was on point. So tell me, how was? And your, I will show you. How was your? You will not face Myrtle. You know who you gonna face? Who? The predator. From. Uh, the Men in Predator, Black. bro. From Men in Black. He's coming for you. That Predator. He's haunting for you, bro. From Men in Black. You want me to show you the picture? <laughs> you see. He, he has said that he thinks he's getting under your skin, you're getting angry, and it's going to affect you in the fight. I know he did, because that's what he wants. That's why he's sending me all this kind of message. I know it. But how are you going to handle that? Are you going to let your emotions take over? I will haunt him. I, 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 like I tell everybody, the Predator will come. I tell this guy, the Predator will come. I will haunt him from the first round to the, f to the fifth round. I will be on his ass. He, if you try to knock me down, he can do his best, but I will keep pressuring this guy because I don't know he don't like that. The last time he beat me is the was the same the same reason uh, Nabiev beat me the first time. The the weight cut against Nabiev was <laughs> was horrible, but the weight cut in <laughs> Chicago was worse. You like, know you know what he told worse. me? He told me Myrtle, this guy this time I have a good weight cut. I will beat you. That's what he told me in Chicago. I have a good <laughs> weight cut. I will beat you. My food is good. That's what, I, what he told me. You do have to give him this. Since he's fought you, he's been a machine. Five straight wins, four by knockouts. He has he's to become, be. He's become a different of fighter. Course. He has to be you because he's going to, he's going to face a predator. He has to be. Of course. He's a predator. You're a but listen, if you, if you look good at his fight, he's only swimming in his fight. I don't know if everybody's uh, seen that, but he's only swimming. He got his last fight from this fight. He don't look. <laughs> he definitely not. He's not looking when he this when he put straight. these guys hey, down. Take off your you have glasses. to look at his face because when he throw the punch, he's not looking. He's looking somewhere there in the camera or something, but he's not looking. And then, but it's effective. It's effective. It's definitely, effective. it's effective. And but that's how I will not. If you're a smart up. guy, you can see these kind of things because in the sec first round he did this thing to me. In the second round he also did, did this thing to me and didn't caught me. You know. So the why last do I, why do I get the belt if I'm not? A, I got. Uh, the, I, I took the belt. It doesn't matter how many belts you got because people are already forgotten about your last fight. No. It's about what you're going to do. Who is the champ right it now? It doesn't matter how many belts you got. If you beat me, that will never not happen. If. It's, not, it's not if. if. You don't talk about if. If. Because I, I, I know that will never happen. I will beat you. If you beat me, I will take the mic and say, Myrtle, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to apologize about everything I say on your pants. Or your, on your skinny ass, your stinky ass. But you will do ass. it, bro. I will say, I apologize. You, it, you are the best. But that... You will do it. I will beat your ass and you will do it. But when I will kick your ass and knock you out, we will wait until you wake up. And then you will take the mic and say, Cedric Dumbe is the best. He's better than me. I got respect for it's him. Funny. I really think it's That's funny. That's what you're going to say. Would you do it? If huh? he beat you, would you do that? No, the, I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't talk like that because it doesn't go into my mind if he will beat of me. Of course. It doesn't go to my mind. I know I already beat him. I have to show up. I have to take, take that belt and I will go home. And after I show up, I will take the mic and I will say it straight in his face again. Cedric, bow for your king, man. Bow for your king. Let the champ talk. The champ is saying that. Yes. Listen, uh... I know uh, what what makes you confident is like I beat him once, I will beat him twice. Of course, I know. Because I you know. call yourself the best. That's your power, you know. That's no, that's, you, that's not my power. You need that. Definitely not. To step in the Most ring in not. front of me, you need that. Definitely but not. But take it. It's okay. I will take more. And I need you to believe that. I will. Then you will face me, believing it is, and I will knock you the fuck out. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for the time. I will pray for Myrtle. I will also pray for Cedric. No, don't That your elbow me. doesn't get hurt between now and then. <laughs> Do you we want a t-shirt? It's a nice t-shirt. My name is on it. It's you will nice. wear it after the fight? I will. I will take everything from you after okay, the fight. Okay, <laughs> deal. Any chance we get you guys to shake hands? I, I can shake his hands. No problem. There we go. <laughs> My opponent is Cedric Domlo. Domlo. Yeah. Thank you, Myrtle. I'm the best, you know. My style is better than his style. The one next to me. Where's Dumbe? Where's Dumbe? So I'm coming for you, my man. I'm coming for you.
No problem, I know, man, I know. <laughs> I'm coming for the belt, baby. He looked up to me, so I gave him a lot of Sergio Tumbe is a comedian, he's a clown, and he will soon lose his belt. I'm not arrogant. You know that, huh? I'm scared. I see you're scared. It's car, guys. I'm gonna knock his down. I'm gonna knock his ass down tomorrow. And, uh, I'm gonna knock him out. You wanna knock him out? Try it, man. When I give my opponents pain, they can handle it. So I'm gonna give him pain. Touch him up. Back to your corner, guys. Judge. They do not Judge. touch gloves. Oh, Dumbe got his hands up just in time to block that kick, but Grunhart landed some power punches there. And new glory welterweight champion of the world, Mertel Grunhart. First of all, I want to thank Cedric. You know, I think I belong the best because uh, I'm the real champ. Bro, you never beat me. I apologize for the knockout I'm gonna give you next time, okay? Who is next? Murtel? I think Murtel is the next one. I... Mertel Grunhardt. I think so. What's your message to him right now? I owe you one. I owe you one. I will knock you out. I'm the welterweight man. <laughs> I want to knock him out. And, uh, and shut his mouth for forever. Jones in trouble again, and he's down for the second time, and he's out on his back! And now is calling out the real champ, Cedric Dubé. Yeah, there's a lot of heat, a lot of tension. Troy Jones, what the fuck is that? Our interim welterweight champion of the world! I want the clown next, the clown. See you finally in person. All that shit that he's, he's been talking. Now I can say that to my face. <laughs> like break his nose, break his legs, and uh, kick his skinny ass. There have been some intense rivalries over the years, but none quite like the rivalry we have right here. Just tell me what you're gonna say if I beat you. I, beat I you. will, will, okay. I will beat you. Now, I'm saying that I will knock this guy out. But he will not face Myrtle Grunat but he will face the Predator. He's a quitter, he's a coward, like I said before. And message for Myrtle. And Myrtle, it's a COVID, COVID. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, rivalries make the fight world go round, Joe. And I don't know of two men that loathe each other any more than Cedric Dubé and Myrtle Grunhart. How would you describe this rivalry? Well, I think a lot of people are excited about the world title being on the line, as you should be. But to me, and I mean, I think a lot of the fans, the excitement comes in this rivalry, the tension, the beef between the two. So on top of seeing, you know, and still or and new, I'm just excited to see the beef squashed and the fight go on. All right. So we're all set. January 30th. It is. And I'm not using hyperbole here. Joe will correct me if I'm wrong. This is the biggest fight card in glory kickboxing history. Four world title fights, the heavyweight titles on the line, the light heavyweight titles on the line, the welterweight titles on the line. Tiffany Van Seuss is back, putting the women's super bantamweight title on the line. Joe, how excited, how pumped are you for this fight card? Well, I, I, to be honest, words don't even explain that. I just got to show you. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, he'll be ready. I'm ready. We'll see you there. For more information, go to glorykickboxing.com. Glory 77 live and exclusively on pay-per-view. It's the biggest of all time. Cedric, the best doom man. Mutel uh, don't deserve to to do a tighter shot against me because I, I'm too strong for him. Come on. When I get that title, when I knock Dumbe down, it's all worth it. Tell Grunhardt always looks for a spectacular finish. The reigning and defending glory welterweight champion of the world. These two don't like each other, and this should be a stand-up war.